nothing. Come out already. I did come out on national TV in front of millions of people, remember? Uh-huh. I suppose that makes you the man. Well, if Kyle shows up and you're standing in front of that mirror... Hey, okay. How do I look? You look... Yeah? Does the word dork have any meaning for you? I just bought this shirt. What's wrong with it? Fish, that's the kind of shirt you wear if you're taking the neighbor's kids to play goofy golf. It's comfortable. Thank you for everything. You're like, you're like the best friend I've ever had. So listen to your friend and go change your shirt. I, okay, okay. No, I just wish... If you apologize about using me one more time... No, no it's not that. You know, but I do actually still feel guilty about that. Don't. You're happier than I've ever seen you. Yeah, and I want you to be happy, too. I'm happy. Right. That's why I came in here the other night and found you crying. Oh. Right. Hey, look, Layla, you made me see that I was standing in the way of my own happiness, you know, coming up with a lot of bad reasons why I shouldn't be with the guy that I love, and I just, I wish I could do that for you. Will you please snap out of it? What did I do? Ever since you moved back in with me, you've been moping around. It's starting to get to me. Yeah, sorry. It's just... Uh, go out. Call her. Come on. I can't call Layla. You know, this great little invention, the cell phone. You can call anywhere, anytime, anyone. Straighten things out with her. This isn't going to get straightened out, Mom. All right, look, Evangeline's in a coma that she may never wake up. You know, I'm really sick of talking about this. You're angry. Yes, I am. Don't get silent again. What's there to say? If Evangeline woke up tonight, she wouldn't want me back. But you know what? That doesn't make any difference to Layla. When someone is like the way Evangeline is right now, it can be very difficult for someone who loves her to move on in their lives. I know that. I used to wish it had been me instead. Oh, don't even say that. I can't even imagine what it must feel like to be Evangeline's mother or sister. And I remember when you had a difficult time opening up to Sarah. I was being an idiot. Evangeline wouldn't want you or Layla to live half a life because of her. But she can't say that. But you can. I tried. Layla wouldn't listen. Try again. You know what bugs me? What? Crazy in love couples who get in your business when you aren't crazy in love too. Well, that's not what I want. Good. Because A, I'm not in love with Christian, and B, if you don't change out of that nasty shirt and into your blue button-down, you're not going to be ready when... See, I rest my case. Hey, Kyle, come on in. Hi. Oliver, Kyle's here. Would you like something to drink, a beer, or a soda, maybe? Nah, I'm, I'm good. Hey. Hi. Um, uh, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. Yeah, no worries. You, you look great. It's a nice shirt. Oliver has excellent taste in shirts, roommates, and men. Hi. <laughs> you're so stubborn. Layla is the stubborn one, okay? I've talked myself blue in the face, and she, nothing I say makes any difference at all. She's decided that if she started something with me... It's being disloyal to her sister. And you accept that? I do now. Then you are still being an idiot. Men. Boys. So you ready? Yes, let's go. Oh. Oh, God, it's, it's the station. I, I gotta take this. Go ahead. Sorry. Officer Fish. Um, so, you're not gonna believe this. You gotta go in. Thought you said you're off duty. Yeah, I am. I was. They're shorthanded. It's okay. We just, we'll do this another time. No, I know. Would you mind, uh, waiting here? I, I promise it won't take long. You sure you don't want to reschedule? 
Uh, you know, Kyle, I've been looking forward to this all day. A lot longer than that, actually. Yeah, me too. So you'll hang around? You have to ask. So about that beer? I'll open two. So, how's life been since you told Oliver you love him on national TV? You took a big chance and it paid off. Yeah. It really wasn't that hard, you know, once I just got out of my head and said what I was really feeling. You weren't afraid at all? No. I wish I could have done it without hurting Nick. Well, <laughs> Nick's still around. You have a chance to work that out. You and your sister don't? Nice try. What? You call me an idiot, I want to prove you wrong, so I do what you want and call Layla. Isn't that how it goes? I thought I'd give it a shot. I just hate seeing you look so sad. Don't worry, Mom, I'll figure it out. What, a way to make it work with Layla? No, a way to move on. Do you love her? Who knows what love is? So you do. You do. Then you cannot give up on her. Look, when a woman says, you don't care about my feelings, you drink too much, you hang out with your friends and not me, those are things that you can change about yourself. If you care enough. Now, Layla said that she can't be with me because she doesn't want to hurt her sister who's been in a coma for two years. I can't change that. And you know what? Maybe that's why she said it. Maybe, maybe she's just not that into me. Well, I don't believe that for a second. Well, you're tired, well, okay? Be... You've had a long day. Why don't you go home? Well, I'm not tired. Go home. Not... Put your feet up. Relax. Not... Mom, home. Please. All right, all right. <laughs> but you come home with a smile on that face, or you can forget about being my new boarder. I'm sorry. Do you want another beer? No, I'm... I'm good. I didn't, I didn't mean to upset you, Layla. I don't want you to think Oliver and I were talking about you behind your back or, or anything. I know he wants me to be as happy as you guys are. I want it too. It's just... It's a little more complicated. Yeah, uh, Oliver told me about your sister. I'm really sorry. You know, Kyle, all my life I was in competition with Evangeline. She was so gorgeous and smart, a fantastic lawyer, and she can even sing. <laughs> but um, now she's... <laughs> I don't know Thank you. what she is. But I sure as hell didn't want to win the competition this way. Hey, I really shouldn't have brought this up. I should have kept my big mouth shut. No. It actually feels good to talk about it. With someone who's not tra trying to tell me what to do. Can I say just one thing? Sure. Oliver, um... Oliver hurt me really bad in college. Here I am, sitting here waiting for him to get home from work. I guess I'm just saying that uh, I, I, I never could be here if I hadn't learned to put the past behind me. Would you mind staying here alone until Oliver gets back? Just go. I need some hair all of a sudden. Thanks. Mommy, I thought I told you to stay home. 